So there really hasn't ever been a better time if you work online or you're building a niche website to be different. Google is looking for patterns and having something unique, whether that be your website homepage design or whether that be your actual content. It is vital right now that we make unique content and provide a unique experience for the user. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how, if you're using popcorn theme, you can change your homepage to be more unique. And I'll explain why my theory is that Google might be spotting patterns with your website and maybe other people's websites. I'm going to show you some examples of some unique pieces of content that has been created using some of the free patterns that comes with your popcorn WordPress theme. So let's get into this. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today's video, I'm gonna talk briefly about why I believe uniqueness and creating a better user experience is so important for websites right now. We all know over at the Google head office, there's a world of turmoil going on. Google is trying to figure out how it can make the World Wide Web a better place for everybody and provide the answers to the information you may be requiring. And we know that sometimes they're getting it wrong. So how does basically Google look at your website? How is it going to find your website and reward or possibly discredit it? Well, I'm no data scientist or even a programmer, but I know that most things that are done online have a pattern. So everything we do online is made up of code. It's a series of numbers that create a pattern which produce the final product. Now, if Google is looking to find a repetitive pattern, it can quite easily search for that code. It could, for instance, find an image, it can look at the data and the information behind that image, and then look for similar patterns. It can then determine if that image has been used on other websites, i.e., not very unique. So I also believe that Google can do that with other things. It can do that with things like themes. It could look at the overall coding of the basic theme that you use on your website from day one. And possibly if it wanted to, it could spot a pattern, i.e. it could find that code and it could look at other websites and actually match that up and say, this theme is being used on this website, this website, and this website. Now that's not always a bad thing and Google sometimes looks for those repetitive patterns in a good way to reward your website. So it knows you're using good standard practices and obeying to the Google terms and conditions, which is always a good thing. However, there are always some things you can do to make your website more unique. So for instance, if you're using your popcorn theme to create your website, popcorn theme has been designed to be as simple as possible to use out of the box. And upon installing your WordPress theme, you will have an out of the box template ready to go that's been designed for blogging in mind. A very simple and quick theme that will get you up and running in minutes, which is absolutely fine. And you can have your website and your content up and running in no time. But maybe you want to make that website more unique, i.e. you want to break that pattern. So Google sees your website as unique. So you can do that very easily because Popcorn uses something called a full site editor. So if you've never used a full site editor, basically a full site editor gives you the ability to create and edit page templates and create elements on your website i.e. things like the footer, the header, and the content of your website. So WordPress provides you with the ability now to create whatever you like if your theme uses the full site editor. It's basically simple blocks that you can move around, change, and create something very unique. So to give you an example of that, here is a website that uses popcorn theme straight out of the box. This is the basic template that is provided instantly when you unzip the file and you start using popcorn theme. You can see it's very clean, very simple, and very blog focused. However, with popcorn theme, you can create anything you like. You do not need to use the basic template out of the box. You can create something very unique and very individual to you, your website, your style, and your audience. For instance, here is my own personal website. This is carlbroadbent.com, which has been built again using the full site editor, which is free inside Popcorn Theme. 
And here is my good friend, Theo Ramwell, who has a YouTube channel. You can see his membership site for his gaming channel looks absolutely fantastic, very unique, very individual and personal to him. And again, is built by using popcorn theme. And to go one stage further, you can even create or replicate any website design that you find on the internet, again, using Popcorn Theme. Another good friend of mine, Josh, who has a YouTube channel himself, has used Popcorn Theme as a demonstration and replicated other themes out there. So he has a couple of videos where he has taken a different theme and created that theme using Popcorn, which is incredible. Obviously not to copy them or anything like that, but just to show you the versatility of what this theme can do. In fact, any theme with a full site editor can create unlimited amounts of styles, custom themes and templates. So the possibilities with not only Popcorn theme, but the full site editor are endless. And like I say, to make your website more unique, you need to break those patterns and break that chain of code so that Google will look at you as an individual. Remember, we always say things like using unique images is better than using an image that's been used on the internet 100,000 times. And how does Google know it's been used 100,000 times? because it has some code and a pattern and a footprint. So changing that footprint, whether you take an image and you basically change the size or you add some text to it, you are changing that code. You are altering the footprint and it makes it so much harder for Google to track any patterns or similarities. So for me, altering your website, whether that be your homepage, whether that be your content, adds that uniqueness. For me, it also creates a better user experience. I mean, nobody wants every website in the world to look the same, right? It'd look pretty boring if every website you landed on had the same fonts, the same colors, the same patterns. So create something very unique using Popcorn Theme and the full site editor. We have a channel for Popcorn Theme right now where you can actually get some instructions and some tutorials. We also have lots of written documents as well. You can see here on the screen, we've been adding them like crazy recently and you can find lots of information how to use Popcorn Theme very simply to create something very unique. And finally, let's have a look at some of the content. Now, if you look at this piece of content now, I'm sure you will agree this looks very dull and very boring. It's about 1500 words in a block wall of text with very little colors, very little patterns or variations, and again, not a great user experience. However, if you take a look on the screen now, you will see this is the same article, but we've used some of the free features and patterns inside Popcorn Theme to really jazz it up create a better user experience and make it easier to read on mobile, which is vital these days, and just overall make it look a lot prettier. You can find all the patterns and blocks that you will need to create amazing content inside Popcorn Theme. If you simply click patterns, you will see all the categories that we have listed. For instance, making an author box, you can see on screen, here's a really good author box. You can see product boxes, so you can sell those Amazon products very easily. You can see quick style information boxes. You can see conclusions. Everything that you need is in the patterns. Now we're adding patterns like crazy. Again, these are all free inside Popcorn Theme and we're updating it very, very regularly. So you'll see new patterns appearing in there every time we can think of one or we spot something that looks really nice. We create the pattern for you and drop it inside your popcorn theme. So there you go, that's why I believe it is important to be unique. I believe we need to stop Google tracking patterns on our content, images, videos, and websites. Being unique has always been good, right? Nobody wants to be boring, nobody wants to be the same. And using popcorn theme, you have the ability to change anything you like, any style, any pattern, any color, any font, it is all there for you. So if you've not already got Popcorn Theme, you want to take a look at it, I'll leave a link in the description. There will be a discount code as well that I'll drop in there. If you want to get started and get a discount, there's a code in the description for you. So I hope that helps you out. Remember, you don't need to make tons of changes, but even a little change can sometimes make a difference. Just maybe swapping out a few blocks on your homepage, maybe adding a bit of color and a few patterns inside your content will make your website look more unique and user-friendly. 
And then hopefully Google will not spot you as one of the people who follows the pack. It will see you as an individual and reward you for doing that work. So please remember to like the video if you've enjoyed it. Leave us a comment down below. Have you made any changes to your website? Do you believe Google is looking for patterns? Comment below, let me know. So thanks for joining me. If you enjoyed the video, you may find this video enjoyable. I certainly think it might help you out. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you in the next video.